we've got a glass of water, yippee, for you, just in case that one gets really lovely. James is already on his third, so there we go. <laughs> it's disappointing. So good afternoon, everyone, and truly a very, very warm welcome to the wonderful lawn today for this very special occasion, the marriage of James and Keeley. My name is Jenny Herbert, and I'm a Deputy Superintendent Registrar for the County of Essex. And it is my privilege to be here today to conduct the ceremony for the two of you. My colleague is Tina Douglas, and Tina is our Registrar this afternoon. She's going to be busy making the permanent and historic record of the event, and will ensure that the marriage is conducted according to law. The place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages, and we are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of James Michael Ledger and Keeley Louise Graham. And if any person knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Don't worry, little squeaky voices don't count, so I think we're good to carry on. This is indeed such a wonderful day for James and for Keeley. For today they have chosen to make a public commitment to each other through vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. And through your presence here today, you are all expressing your love and your support for them. James and Keeley, today you will exchange vows of marriage which will unite you as husband and wife. Before you are joined in matrimony, I have to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the vows you are both about to make. Marriage in this country is the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. The purpose of marriage is that you will always care for and support each other through every aspect of your lives. It is a decision made by two people to share love, friendship and mutual respect. Marriage is a desire by two people not only to share themselves and their experiences but also to accept one another as individuals. Marriage means making a commitment to developing cooperation. It calls for honesty, patience and a pretty good sense of humour. A good partner will be loving and caring, but above all, a best friend. I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to make a declaration that you know of no legal reason why you should not be married to each other here today. And James, as you know, as the groom, I'm going to come to you first for the responses for the remainder of our ceremony. So if you are free lawfully to marry, please repeat after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, James Michael Ledger. That I, James Michael Ledger. Why I, James Michael Ledger. Why I, James Michael Ledger. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Keeley Louise Graham. To Keeley Louise Graham. And Keely, if you are free lawfully to marry, please repeat after me. I declare that I know. I declare that I know. Of no legal reason. Of no legal reason. Why I, Keely Louise Graham. Why I, Keely Louise Graham. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To James Michael Ledger. James Michael Ledger. And now your special moment has arrived where the two of you are going to make your formal and legal contract before us all. Now, did you have time to tell Stephanie she was a witness? <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Just. <laughs> Luke and Stephanie, if you'd be kind enough to come forward, please, and stand one each side of the table, that would be wonderful. Because this is your moment where you are my witnesses. At the end of these vows and promises, then James and Keeley do indeed become husband and wife. So I'm going to ask the two of you to turn and face each other completely, because these are lifelong vows you're making to each other. So James, if you would say these words to Keeley. I, James Michael Ledger. I, James Michael Ledger. Take you, Keeley Louise Graham. Take you, Keeley Louise Graham. 
to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And as I take you to be my wife. And as I take you to be my wife. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. Cherish you and respect you. Cherish you and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. And be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh with you when you are happy. Comfort you when you are sad. And comfort you when you are sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. Keely, in time for your response to your group. <coughs> I, Keely Louise Graham. I, Keely Louise Graham. Take you, James Michael Ledger. Take you, James Michael Ledger. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And as I take you to be my husband. And as I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you. Cherish you and respect you. Cherish you and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. Be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh with you when you are happy. Comfort you when you are sad. Comfort you when you are sad. Whatever life may bring. Whatever life may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. Well done, Keely. Thank you so much, witnesses. If you would care to return to your seats, thank you. James and Keely have chosen to seal their contract of marriage today with the exchange of rings. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle which symbolises unending and everlasting love and will be the outward sign of those lifelong promises the two of you have just made to each other. And I'm delighted to say, Luke, now is your moment. <laughs> Could we first of all please give to James the ring he is going to present to Keely? Wonderful. James, pop that on the tip of your bride's ring finger. And then I'm going to say, Keely, if you take a slight step to the side and you come this way, then you're going to get some wonderful, memorable photographs, all right? Say these words to your lovely bride. Keely, I give you this ring. Keely, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. And as a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made here today. Of the promises we have made here today. And pop that all the way into your bride's ring finger. Oh, get it on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> there it is. Safe. safe. Luke, if we could have the second ring, please, if you'd be kind enough to pass that across to Keely. Thank you for your help with that. They didn't say they were putting it in a puzzle box, did they? <laughs> <laughs> Pop that on the tip of James's ring finger and say these words to him. James, I give you this ring. James, I give you this ring. As a token of our marriage. As a token of our marriage. And as a lasting reminder. As, as last, a lasting reminder. Of the promises we have made here today. Of the promises that we have made here today. Pop that all the way onto his ring finger. So James and Keeley, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your family and friends, your witnesses and guests all assembled here today for you. This is the first day of your new life together as husband and wife and we all hope that the feelings of love which you have for each other will continue to deepen and grow stronger throughout a very, very happy marriage. It gives Tina and myself the very greatest pleasure to confirm that you are now officially married, husband and wife, and we would like to invite you to seal that moment with a kiss. Congratulations. So James and Keith,
Keely, we're going to split you up straight away and come on round to this side of the table. So, ladies and gentlemen, bear with us just for a few moments. We're just going to have a formal checking and then signing of the marriage schedule. And at this stage, I'm afraid there is no photography permitted. But once it is completed, we are going to bring our couple round to the front of the table so that you can all take a photograph if you want to from where you are sitting. So take this opportunity now to pop those mobiles back on if you would like to. And we also have some more background music for you.
Friends who first day, you have to come out at the wedding and make a, an announcement and, and toast the bride and groom. So uh, I've drawn this short straw today. My name's Scott, by the way. Hello, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you ever wear your glasses, for Kenny and James. Kenny and James. Well, I'll tell you what, let's have three cheers for Kenny and James as well. Tell my man. 
So that was supposed to stitch him up, but I think he, he wore that yeah, quite well. Yeah. She said, can we stitch you up, you see? And you did a perfect job there, so... Uh, There's no stitching this man up. <laughs> right, so we are your singing waiters, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> we're singing. But we want to get everyone up, dancing, on their feet, so we're going to start that now. Can I possibly have the bride and groom up front, please? You just come out here. Don't worry, we're not stitching you up. So, right, so a wedding would not be a wedding without a conga line, am I right? <laughs> That's more of a groan than a cheer. Yeah. We'll see how this goes, eh? Right. So, Jamie, you, you hold the train. Because we don't want to have a over. Right, so if you stand one behind the other, lovely. Orderly cute. Right, so whoever these guys tap on the shoulder has to join the back of the line. And obviously, you have to sing along nice and loud. All understand? Good. Let's give it a go. Oh, just, I've got one more question. I've got a question for James. Just tell me then, how far would you be prepared to walk for Keith? Well, it's certainly not going to be 500 miles, sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry, man. Gaza, Paul. Gaza, Paul. Tommy Jane. You're stood. You're stood. Where are you going to We're going to choose a leader for the boy band, James. Who's the leader? Leader. Yeah, leader slash choreographer. Choreographer. Yes, who's the choreographer? Just nominate. This man. Right, here he comes. What's his name? Gary is going to be the choreographer of Gaz. What are you going to do, Gary? You're going to show us your very best moves, cut a few shapes, and the fellas behind you are just going to copy you. So, so if you're more flexible than them, you can stitch them up if you want to. Well, let's give it a And I think I'm alive 
to welcome everyone here. It's on a Saturday, obviously you've got nothing better to do. But it's amazing you could be here and you all made the effort, some more than others. But it's a free meal, so I can understand why you're turning up today. Um, what else have we got? We've got praise Keely. Keely! She looks really lovely, my number one daughter. I call her my number one daughter because I've got three daughters. It's easier to call them by numbers than it is their names. So I've got number one and number two is number two. <laughs> but seriously, that's right. I look at Jim and I wonder, why did Keely choose him? I can't work out, then you think, must be a donkey. Must be <laughs> Bring in the toilet, we all know. No, it's not that then. <laughs> Actually, sometimes I think he's in the wrong toilet. <laughs> but seriously, he must be rich. Because he, he 
keeps telling me he's punching so far above his weight. Not long, that far above his weight. But lucky Keely's got no standards, so... <laughs> 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 but seriously, I'd like to. Well, I can't understand why Jim did choose Katie because he knows her family and they're all a bit strange. And he, had a, he actually had a choice to marry into the family. No idea why, but you're welcome to her. <laughs> I mean, no, you are welcome to the family. What else? Oh, and I've got to say a toast now. I've got to keep this very short because Jim is cacking himself for his speech. And the longer I leave it, the more nervous he's getting, the more mistakes he's going to make, the more embarrassment. So I don't want to hold it much more, so could you raise your glasses, please? To the present, to the future, and to the married couple. And that's my bit done now. Unfortunately, I only learned about quarter of an hour ago I was doing the speech, so you know the taking as it comes. But it is from the heart. My wife and I. Uh, a very privileged to have three loving sons and James being the last of my the nest all are my pride and joy and we knew James had met his true life partner when she told him she was the one for him <laughs> <laughs> The look between them says it all. And we are glad to welcome Keely to our family, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> our love to both of them for the future and hope that James will be as happy as his brothers are in their marriages. So please, raise the glass to me. James and Keely. Yeah, I was going to say that, I mean, you definitely made me realise that 
I need to make sure I keep this hair as long as possible. Because <laughs> if, if I was to rub that head, I'm definitely seeing into the future with that. <laughs> Marion and Jim, thank you for uh, giving me Keely's hand in marriage today and welcoming me into the family. I do feel honoured to be part of this family and I do hope to make both of you proud today and for the rest of our time together. I will be sending you the bill tomorrow, don't worry. <laughs> Now, to the men who are beside me today. So, I'll start off with the best man of being Luke. He is one chap who is definitely mischievous and has always something up his sleeve and a very good poker face, as we know. <laughs> now, especially with the stag recently making me wear something which could have definitely made me more fit into a swingers club, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> as you've all probably seen some photos of it, it's so pretty dumb. shocking. I mean, yeah, some did say it suited me. Maybe I should have worn that today for the wedding. <laughs> but um, anyway, I mean, it must have been a good charm because it did get me um, 65 quid up, so I couldn't complain really. So mm -hmm. back. you are my saving grace on that. But as time does, uh, does go on, I do love him for his witty ways. You are have some uh, great moral support in life for me, and um, in a way, I do kind of feel sorry for you because you do support Arsenal. So <laughs> I mean, someone's got to support him really, but you know, I'll get you on the up. I'll get you on the right side eventually. Tommy, Thomas, where are you? Oh, you're over there. What can I say about you? <laughs> Nothing. Oh. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are a top lad as well. You do know that. And uh, I'm glad to have you and Luke beside me today on a very special day today. And uh, it has meant a lot to me. You know, uh, you have made me realise, though, that I think settling down is going to be the best thing in life. I mean, just look at you. You, you do look a right mess. <laughs> I mean, at least I've got kind of standards now, I suppose. I actually get looked after in life, so... I'll just leave that with you there. You okay? That's good. Oh! <laughs> Mouth, Rebecca. Oh, you're over there. Hello. Thank you for welcoming to your family. Um, you don't have to meet it, it's fine. Get rid of it. I don't trust you. Wait for the drop here. The drop. No, it's fine, it's fine. I just want to appreciate that you are going to be looking after me. And, well, I really do appreciate being welcomed in this family. You could have all been absolutely knobheads to me. <laughs> Probably Rebecca, yeah. <laughs> I'll let the fight carry on between you two. Um, and obviously you two with Steph today, you've absolutely made a brilliant bridesmaid today. You all look lovely. I really appreciate you all making the effort for once. <laughs> Four months. Here's what it is. Um, I would just like to say, can we all just raise our glass quickly for anyone that can't be here today? Um, just that, you know, with obviously times that have gone on recently and stuff, you know, whether they're not with us in present, or to here with us in spirit, please, if we could all just raise our glasses for everybody in the past and in the spirits, thank you. Cheers. Now, finally, I'd just like to talk about myself, really. I mean, it's been, you know, I really do appreciate you all coming out today. It's going to be all day. <laughs> no, I better talk about the man of so To my new wife. I feel like I'm 12. Why am I doing this? I feel like I'm 12 years old. You are. I am 12. Well, I was it's a pindo. <laughs> Mrs. Keeley Ledger. Sorry for everybody, this is going to be a bit soppy now. I've got to make it, obviously, because she wanted me to make her cry and be happy in life. So. I don't think you will. I already made myself cry. Well, it's because you looked at me. And I thought, fuck. <laughs> anyway, from where we was five years ago to now, it has been absolutely massive. And when we first met in your bedroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the carving knife under the pillow. Let's get the car box. Oh, that was the next bit. And when I lied to my friends, actually, of all people, yeah. to say that I was actually going to drop some car parts off, it's actually to go and see you. Take people away. I just knew it had to be special somehow. <laughs> I just knew it was special with you. But when we finally had our first proper date a month later, after leaving a wedding evening reception, 
how ironic, really, <laughs> that we're here today. And uh, where we are at the beginning, and how you've made it the man that I am today. And uh, you're making me actually do household stuff, some dinners, actually making me feel good about myself. Oh. And uh, you always do nice to look after me, even when I'm ill. And uh, you always make things better in life, and that I'm really ungrateful for. And you have made me cry numerous times when you just make some awful suggestions to questions that I give you. <laughs> and you know what I'm talking about. Right, of course you do. <laughs> and uh, just how your sub uh, stubbornness even does sometimes get in our way. But I always do it like that. Come on, let's be honest. Better have done that. Oh, that's someone else. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. But even still, you do make me feel better when I'm sad and just not feeling myself. But you've always supported me all the way. And you truly are my number one super one. And I do appreciate you for that. And finally, that the fact that all these things have fallen into place when I even proposed to you at F1 in Hungary and even marrying you here today at the Norms. And how beautiful you look today, even down the aisle. I was more crying at the boys one than anything, it was fun. <laughs> and uh, now that the ring is on, that you've become a ledger, I can truly say that we can take the world on together. And that the fact now that you are my uh, wife, Mrs. Keith Ledger, it makes it even more sweet. So, that is that. Thank you very much. I'd like to always have glass put into Mrs. Ledger. So, who it may be. Three, two, one. Cheers! Leave me hanging. I'm leaving you hanging, alright. And then finally, to my best man, Mr. Ward, Luke. Thank you very much, Ledge. That was a lovely speech. So my name's Luke, and thank you all for coming to James and Kelly's wedding today. And yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Luke, fortunate enough to be the best man. Unfortunate for you all, I must now give you this speech. So I'll start with the bride. I've known you for four to five years, and during that time you've helped me grow, told me off when I'm good, and when I'm bad, which is why you've become my mama Kay. Today, I'm going to tell you, you look truly amazing, and today I'm going to be on my best behaviour, and make sure that you and your husband have the best day that you both deserve for here and forever. The ledge. What can I say? We've known each other for seven years. One goddamn handsome guy. Give you that. <laughs> Extremely intelligent, sometimes. <laughs> Witty, charismatic, and one sexy, strapping lad. <laughs> well, I think this is your speech for my wedding, isn't it? Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> but no, honestly, during those seven years and during that time, I'm such amazing friends. One that I can see us growing old together, and instead of racing cars in the future, I can see us racing our Zimmer frames. <laughs> Without you, I would never have known how to change a bulb on a car, let alone start it. <laughs> but this was just the start of our obsessions for cars that's taken us across Europe, doing what we do most and what we love most. But mostly watching or dribbling over cars that we can't afford, <laughs> like the one outside. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's until you get your big win on the lottery and you buy us both in cars. Okay. So thank you. Yeah. I love took us to many places. Amsterdam, Swansea, Hungary. We did the most amazing thing. Sadly, no, not buying me that car, but proposing to this wonderful and gorgeous lady that you will not be forgotten for such great memories. Keely, I know this man will protect and look after you the same way he has done so for me. Standing here as best man fills me with such pride and appreciation for everything you both have done for me, and that's truly from the heart. There's friends, there are family, and then there are friends who become family, and I could not ask for a better family than you guys. I can't wait for you to share an amazing future together, but when four legs, four legs become two, I'm out of here. <laughs> so from here on, I wish you guys all the best but just before it comes to a complete end, the management of the lawns has asked me to request 
that for reasons of health and safety, none of you get on top of your chairs and tables during my standard ovation. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that being said, I would like to raise a toast again, in wishing James and Clearly the very best of our marriage and a wonderful life together. Thank you to both of you. Thank you. Now, Ledge, I know you thought I was going to be giving you the mic back after this. However, there is a little surprise on the way. Tommy, do you want to uh, stand up now? No. No, why? Woo! You have not. You have not. Thanks, guys. Um... I haven't written anything, but I just wanted to say thank you, just show my appreciation um, for Ledge and Kay. Um, I don't think over the last 18 months at least, um, me and Ledge have spoke, haven't spoken every day, um, especially since I moved away. He's been there for me, um, supporting me, helping if I need to talk to anyone um, and I just want to say I appreciate you um, same with UK I know we've had some ups and downs in the last few years um, but I hope you see that things have changed and I'm there for you if you need me and I appreciate you as well alright um, so I think Kay is perfect for Ledge, um, mainly because she goes to bed at ev every night at 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, so me and him get the game all night, which works perfectly. Otherwise, I don't have really have a social life. Um, yeah, and I just want to say it's such a, such a great day. Appreciate everyone being here. Um, and yeah, so thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the night. Get pissed. <laughs> um, and one last thing. Can I get a. Uh, yeah. Uh, Surprises, it's pretty frowning me off. Second, second time I've cried in a day. Yeah, remember this. Never happens. Um, right, just quickly as a final, final thing from us before the evening does begin. Um, sorry, I've still got snot. Snot. <laughs> um, as a token of our gratitude and appreciation, we'd just like to thank a few people for today that have made things happen as they are, and the system part and all that kind of things. Um, just quickly to Marion and Jim, um, we'd just like to thank you for my wife's beautiful dress, and we'd just like to, uh, I think we can all just agree how beautiful it has been today on Keely. Uh, I'll just quickly get a round of applause for that one, thank you. Um, to Steph, for doing nothing. <laughs> She was good no. at it. <laughs> she was good at it, yeah. No, thank you for the countless jobs that you have helped out Katie with. You know you stressed her out. Well, she's been stressed out herself many times, and we do appreciate what you've done for us both. So we'd like to give you a ticket for that one. Thank you. Um, very quickly, so nominating yourself last minute, just to help us out with some final additions on for the day. and this week actually as things have gone on so if you'd like to come up and receive a nice little treat <laughs> to Kim where is Kim is Kim in Casey Madison <laughs> right, well you can take over um, just want to thank her for the amazing cake that she's done today um, and obviously the hell she's done a splendid job for us um, obviously seeing the nice little design in the middle of the cake and lastly, Becky, if you'd like to come up, please. Don't cry. Don't cry, it's all right. 
Just thank you for lending your creativity on a few things that have happened today as well, Becky. Thank you. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes all the formalities. I'm now going to ask the bride and groom to retire back to the main hall, where they would request that you all join her. Would you please be upstanding as the bride and groom make their exit? Oh, <laughs> 